Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Kamarchuk here again. We are going to be doing some bubble printing today. So this is one of my examples. I actually did two because I've been trying a bunch of different ways to do this so I can give you as many options as possible today. So for today, you're going to need some dish soap, water, a cup or a bowl. I prefer a disposable one so you don't have to reuse this because it does get a bit messy. Um, a straw, and then you have an option to use either paint. I use just this basic acrylic paint and it's been doing pretty well. Or you can even do food coloring and it should do really well for you. This one I actually did with food coloring and then this one I did with my acrylic paint. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of different techniques to do bubble printing, but what's really fun about it is that it is great for all ages. So anybody really can do this. You just might need a little assistance from somebody who's a little older to make sure that your mixture is right and we don't make any big spills today because that would be a big mess. Um, also, if you have cardstock, something a little thicker than just copy paper, that would be way better than your copy paper today because it absorbs the print better. So you'll see what I mean in a little bit. So printing is that process of where it works like a stamp and you can keep doing it over and over again. So we are kind of stamping the bubbles today. So you'll be seeing what that bubble will look like on a piece of paper, which is really cool. So I already have some mixtures made that I'm gonna be using. This one was my food coloring. This one was my acrylic paint. So you can see the similarities between the two. And I am going to be creating a new one with you. So I've been working on the perfect recipe all morning. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I kind of struggled finding that perfect recipe. So if you're not getting a really good print on the first go round, don't give up. Just keep on mixing a few different ways because there's just so many ways to do this. And I've truly been doing a lot of research on it and I can't figure out exactly what the perfect one is. I think it's a combination of using the right materials and just the right amount of each. So keep on exploring until you get the right one. So I like starting with my paint or food coloring first. So a good rule of thumb is just kind of fill the bottom. When I was doing, oops, when I was doing my research today, I found that it was about two tablespoons, but I just kind of like filling the bottom. This is a little old, that's why it's a little chunky. Come on, stay with me, there we go. Okay, that should be enough for now. And again, if it's not working, I'll just add more later. No big deal. Okay, then I am going to add in just a little bit of dish soap. About that much is perfect. I don't know, it's maybe like a teaspoon if you wanna use some measurements here. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna swirl this mixture together. So I'm mixing just my paint or food coloring, whatever you're using, and dish soap. Getting a nice soapy mixture here. Okay, then I'm going to pour in some water. What I've been finding on, through my thorough research today, it was about a half a cup. But again, play around with it until you get it right. And then just keep swirling. Okay. I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna get my paper ready because this will go kind of fast. So there's a whole bunch of ways to add in your bubbles here. So you're gonna be blowing. Make sure you blow and don't suck in. That would not be good at all. Um, but watch how I blow it and then I'm gonna swirl just to get a couple more little bubbles mixed with bigger bubbles. All right, here I go. Okay. 
All right, and as you can see, I got lots of different size bubbles and I have it going off of the edge here. So now I'm just gonna kind of scoop the bubbles and they appear on your paper. Now, like I said, there's a ton of different ways to do this. So I'm gonna show you another way. paper over and gently just press it down. Boom. Then you can get the middle part of your paper. I like keep on scooping my bubbles up and then I'll show you a way that you can actually spread your bubbles out a little bit. Let me mix this up a little more. So I'm going to scoop and then I'm going to use the straw to kind of drag those bubbles and they kind of move a little bit. I'm going to do it one more time just to see if I can get it to do a little more. It's possible I don't have enough either water or dish soap, I can't really tell. So I'm being really careful not to draw with my straw. Instead, I'm just dragging the bubble and kind of popping them as I go. If I just let them sit, then the bubbles will eventually pop. And that's what I prefer to do because then you get a really nice true bubble form on your paper rather than it kind of looking like it was just kind of splattered everywhere. So here's something else you could do. I can put, if you have a couple containers of this, if you had multiple colors, I can put two colors together and then just kind of um, do them both at the same time. I saw through all my research, I saw somebody did a muffin pan and they put a different color in each little section and then did the whole thing all at once, which looked amazing. I don't have a muffin pan that I'm gonna do that with, but if you wanted to, that's another option. All right, I'm gonna give these two colors a try at the same time. I'm gonna be flipping it over like I did before. Let's see what happens. couple different colors in there which looks really neat so there's just so many ways that you can fill your paper with these fun bubbles so have fun experimenting with this today and don't forget to share with me because I absolutely love seeing what you guys come up with at home so share with me feel free to uh, email me and um, share on my Instagram or share on your Instagram and tag me I just love seeing how you guys are creating all right, everybody, have fun and happy creating.